Uh, good morning. I'm here with John kabat How are you? I'm very well. Thank you. Great. Uh, I was wondering if you could give us a few impressions from the first day of the conference. Well, I think we got off to a very, very good start. And uh, there's obviously a tremendous amount of energy beneath the surface in this room. But whenever you're with His Holiness and this kind of a group of people, both on the Buddhist side and on the science side, uh, you've got these incredible synergies going. And so we had a very good launch, you know, talking about attention and, uh, and memory and, and uh, the nature of mind. And we got down and dirty very quickly and <laughs> lots and lots of questions are coming up and lots of them are not getting answered yet and so there's a certain element of frustration or tension building that I think is exactly what you want in a dialogue like this. Not that everybody just be happy and agree about everything but to sort of pull up back the, the sort of rug, the corners of the rug and ask, well, what are we not looking at? What are we not understanding? What are the tacit assumptions that really need to be aired? And, so, uh, you know, I thought Dave's presentation was fabulous and, and, and Alan's presentation was fabulous and very impressive and, and we had good conversations, but I think the most important thing is that we're going to be learning as a group how to interface the, into the conversation in ways that all of the presenters will, I think, ultimately wind up making optimal contributions to the deep questions that uh, will arise out of a kind of uh, collective inquiry like this and then everybody will go away in a sense uh, energized about the next level of what we need to be doing. Great, and, and I understand you also, the Mind and Life board members met with His Holiness. Could you just say a, a little word about that? Or? It was unbelievably moving and I actually am not sure how much I want to say about it, but to, but to just say that he related to us as if we were his comrades and he used that word in a very, very profound way and that he was obviously taking great uh, solace from the fact that we've been working with him for such a long time and the relationship in both ways has proved to be enduring, trustworthy, profoundly catalytic of some very, very important movements in the world and that the, the dialogue between science and contemplative practices and Buddhist perspective is really uh, transforming the world in ways that he feels very pleased with and that are in accord with his original intentions and visions and also Francisco's. Great. Thank you so much. Have a nice I'll day. I'll just say one more thing. Yes, please, mind. please. And that is that I'm here with two of my children and my wife and that is making this experience for me infinitely rich in ways that uh, I could have only hoped for in previous times that I've been here by myself without them, but still, I mean, the, the sangha of this kind of a meeting is extraordinary. <coughs> and I'm just delighted that my family is able to participate. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Oh, thank you. you guys are all great. <laughs>